eat. No one would first of all cut the branches and tops the trees before clearing the undergrowth for cultivation. You have to start by clearing the undergrowth of the bush before proceeding to cut the top of the trees. That was the reason our Lord Jesus Christ said that except one hated his father, mother, wife, children, friends, relations and even himself, he cannot be his worthy disciple. He also said that any person who does not take up his cross and follow him cannot be his disciple. Who is he who wants to build a house and would not first of all count the cost before he begins to work? And who is that king who would set out for war with another king without first of all examining the number and strength of his army? If the king finds that the other king he intends to fight has a more powerful army both in number and weapon the alternative is for him to negotiate a peaceful settlement otherwise he will be defeated brethren this is the reason the muslims the hindus the hindus and the whole christian world and the entire world have failed because they do not take stock of themselves before doing whatever they do and you too when you come here, you claim that the leaders and members of your former church denomination committed one kind of sin or the other. You say all sorts of things against your former church. But today, are you not doing those things you accuse them of? And even worse, you have to take stock of yourself, forsake fornication, adultery, greed, and all things that do not bring glory to God. The disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ were able to kill the flesh with its lust and the first instance before they could walk with and serve their master. It is not English language that matters in this kingdom, neither is it ethic, ethic nor vision, preaching or membership of any association. What is needed of you in this kingdom is to mortify your flesh. What caused Adam, Pharaoh, and many other people mentioned in the scriptures to fall? Was it not the loss for carnal things? To be carnally minded is death. The entire world today likes, the, likes and admires mundane things. They lost after beautiful women and some men, nicely built and furnished houses, shiny apparel, flashy cars, and many more. You are attracted to all these things which kill you. You are all under training. In no time, this place will be filled with wealthy and great men of the world. If you do not know, now, kill the flesh and its loss. What will you do? Do you not think you could be enticed with all these things? And what will be your position when common purse is established such that if you go to be a pan, you find there is plenty of food at Lagos, Port Aircourt, New York and the rest of the places. You still find there are plenty of food, money and clothing. Would you be able to serve God any longer? Will your attention not be diverted to those mundane things? With each passing day now, beautiful women and some men, educated persons, wealthy persons are found everywhere. If you are the type of person who likes, who likes and admires beautiful women or handsome men, or highly educated persons, or wealthy persons, or food, how do you think you would be able to serve God? How would you cope with this situation? That is the reason I have no friends, I have no father, no mother, no house, nothing whatsoever, and I am never bothered. Have you ever seen me with shoes, whether <coughs> or not I eat? I am not worried. After all, I started to fast at the age of five. But your own case is different. 
you have friends, relations, parents, houses, shoes, wives and children. I have come to serve and not to be served. Who amongst you knows himself as to know what to do, let alone to know what I need? All of you need servants to be under you and serve you. I have never eaten or drink in anybody's house. There is nothing in the world that can win my interest. I told you that the first and last day I wear a tie was on the 25th of December 1944. But to most of you here, wearing tight, wearing tie is a habit. I can live in any place and stay in any condition with satisfaction. We are all instruments and tools unto the Father. Anybody who does not walk according to the dictates of this Father is therefore a rebel. When Brotherhood started at 34 Amber Street, we used to stay under a shed, and when it rained, we used to be soaked to the teeth. Some days I am soaked on my way from Amber Street to Macper to Mbokpa Road when it rains. Not that there is no umbrella, but I refuse to use it. Whatever comes my way every day, I give thanks to the Father. But why is it that you have seen the dead body with your eyes, yet tears have refused to come out of your eyes? You people have not yet started because you are still lusting for shoes, cars, wives, children, wealth, and all such mundane things. When do you people intend to kill the flesh with its lust? Many situations, many stations abroad are now requesting the Holy Father to send them students and various associations who are looking for students to accompany them abroad. But where are the good ones? When I tell you most of these things you burst into laughter, only righteous persons shall inherit and enjoy this kingdom. God sees something from afar and then advises his children to take heed. You have to hearken to his voice and obey his instruction. Christ had many other followers, but only these twelve disciples were able to mortify their flesh. They forsook everything and followed the Lord. They left their shoes, their parents, friends, and everything for Christ's sake. That was the reason why Christ decided to work with only these twelve disciples. Their names are today immortalized in the world. They, the same thing will apply to those who walk according to the directives of the Father. Judas took the treasury and offered his master for thirty pieces of silver, but did he in the end, in the long run, enjoy the money. Whatever you do in this kingdom, I am seeing you. The true children of the Father are not interested in anything carnal. They occupy themselves with killing the flesh with its lust. Paul was a renowned lawyer and statesman, but he abandoned his legal practice and followed the Lord. He did not marry. He had no child. He did not engage himself in any carnal work. Paul surrendered himself to God first and then to hunger, persecution, hatred and torture. Who amongst you would have done that, especially as a lawyer? It entails self-sacrifice and surrendering yourself to God and accepting to be persecuted. Otherwise, your many years in brotherhood would mean nothing to you. What shall I profit? What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Remember the case of Elisha's servant? Elisha healed Naaman and refused to accept anything from him as gratification, but his servant went behind and collected the gift from Naaman and he had to pay 
for his action. Judas collected 30 pieces of silver and gold and other spoils of war under his tent and exchanged his life for that. What then are you struggling for? If you read Revelation 21, you will discover that the names of the 12 apostles are used to lay the foundation of the kingdom and their names shall continue to be heard. Who amongst the disciples built a house for their parents? or married or did any kind of thing this is the kingdom they had been laboring and waiting for but those of you who are fortunate to have it in your midst are busy lusting after mundane things if you do not kill the flesh with its loss where will you be anybody who does not mortify the flesh knows neither himself nor what to do that is why it is said that all those who of christ have mortified the flesh this is this this is the reason this gospel is called the sure foundation this is what our lord jesus christ used to conquer the whole world our holy our holy father also uses the same word of God to conquer the world. Millionaires and wealthy people are coming here in no distant time. If you are unable to kill the flesh with its loss, you will have problems because you can be captured through money and some men, beautiful women and the rest of the worldly flowery things. This is kingship chieftaincy. There is kingship chieftaincy and worldly position if you do not modify the flesh what will you do when the worldly people approach you with these things they are the things which satan uses to trap shaky children of god what is needed here is self-contentment as a beautiful woman would use her beauty to trap you into her pocket so also would a handsome man and learned men, so they can dictate to you. The rulers of the earth do the same thing. But if the world knows that you do not treasure any carnal thing, they hardly will confront you with those things and you cannot fall. These are the things Satan uses now. To catch the children of brotherhood of the cross and star. Brethren, I do not want to take you further. A stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Let those who have ears to hear, hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.